Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am going to go over with you the uh, plants that are suitable for a uh, miniature bog garden if you desire to uh, build one yourself. Um, uh, keep in mind that much, much of the plants which, which I'm about to mention, they are all native to of, uh, North, North America, most, most of them. First up here. One of, it's probably the most well-known carnivorous plant of them all, which is the Venus flytrap here. These guys are from the plains, the coastal plains of North and South Car Car Carolina, mostly in North Car Carolina and some patches of South Carolina. And these guys, people, you'll see them a lot of times at the, at the big box stores. People sell them off as no novelty plants, but that really makes, that, that really upsets me when people treat these plants as plants as nothing more as a novelty <clears throat> it's because it's what what can I say you're a young you're you're a kid and you see a plant that actually eats eats insects how cool is that okay the next plant plants are are the Saracenia plants which are the Saracenia pitcher plants and of uh, these these guys are mostly found along the um, eastern sea seaboard uh, along the North American continent, and one one of them, like this per 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 here. This this guy here, goes of uh, all the way up into a uh, can Canada, and so of um, the of uh, uh, some some species of uh, Saracenia, they're are uh, they're more cold cold hardy than than the fly traps here. Um, like of uh, there are about ten to twelve different species of uh, Saracenia. It just depends on if, um, who who you ask. And but but there's tons and tons of hybrids of, of these plants. Um, and as a matter matter of fact, when when they are actually if uh, identifying species, the uh, individual species of a uh, Saracenia way way back when they're actually giving natural hybrids. Um, their their own scientific names because uh, people of the time because of uh, mistaking them as the natural hybrids as actual species not not realizing that of uh, they weren't their individual species but um, natural hybrids and in, in the wild Sar Sar Saracenia tend tend to have um, opened their flowers on on of um, at different times to avoid um, cross poll pollination but of um, it does happen in the wild some sometimes like this guy here and this guy here looks like a look look of five looks like a look of phyla type or a hybrid I'm not completely sure and this guy here is definitely a of um, hybrid scarlet bell looks like it's got uh, sita sita in it be because because it's so low facing to the ground um, it's Looks like it looks like I may have got some um, local five file in it because of the um, windows right right here, and some of um, other plants that you can put depend put put in here depending on your of um, location if, of um, where you live. You can actually put some um, some tropical species in here depending on of um, where where you live. One one of them. Best examples is perhaps a of uh, Cape Cape Sundew. They may be, um, they they are tropical plants, yes, but but of um, but of uh, they are extremely cold tolerant. Uh, they can take a light frost if you happen to to live in zone nine nine A, like like I am. You, you could put um, Drosera capensis, which is the Cape Sundew, or Drosera but not it in here if you so so desire and, uh, and also if uh, you can also cre create a, a water feature in here to have uh, put your uh, temperate uh, bladder warts in as well to have um, to to give it more uh, for variety and also depending on of um, where you live you can also put a cobra lily which is the dar darlingtonia californica in in of um in of um here as well but of, uh, the uh, thing about Dar Darlingtonia is that of, um, they are extremely tough plants to grow. They uh, like to have their roots kept cool at all times. So they are not really a, begin a, a beginner plant plant at all. Um, and so of, um, the sundews you see in here, 
these are sundews I actually grew from uh, leaf cuttings from, from my uh, current Drosera banana. I put them in here because I was making room for my um, Venus, Venus fly trap, uh, flower stalk cuttings and hopefully future seeds as well. And so of, um, one of the things that you may see online is of uh, where of, uh, uh, people may have actually put of, um, a Nepenthes in a bog garden. Do not, by any means, do not, I cannot stress this enough, do not put a Nepenthes in a bog garden. They are terrible because in a bog garden because they do not do well in a bog garden because that they cannot, most of them cannot to tolerate the peat. Some can, some won't because of, um, like for example, this Nepenthes up here, I don't know of um, how well it'll do in peat, but if I, I'm just, just not gonna, gonna, gonna risk it because of, um, they, they do best in a long fibered spain of moss and per perlite mix, not a peat moss one. It's just because of, um, you put a Nepenthes in there, chances are it's, it's going, going to die. It's, it's just, just not gonna make it. And if, um, there are a few other pitcher plants that will not do well in a bog garden either. One of them is the Cephalotus folliculares. These, those pitcher plants are from Australia. I was hoping to get one from my bog, my, not my, from my uh, ter 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 terrarium, but, but I was never too able to get one. Those, those, those plants, they have a grow along, along of um, slopes in, in Australia. Um, and in a very sand sandy type of slope, so they do not do well in a bog garden. These these plants in here, the day they do well in a bog garden, but of um, a cephalotus will, will not. A of a heliumphora, which is an the uh, pitcher plant from South South America, do not do well in the bog garden either because of uh, those those plants come from from the Tapuis Mountains, where where it is a Per perpetual rain basin. It rains all the time. Time there. It rains so much there. They have a uh, adaptation to actually expel the excess rain rainwater from 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 their pitchers. <coughs> and so, if, um, <coughs> and so, if, um, like I said, um, these plants in here are very good for a uh, bog garden. But the, uh, some will do better than us. Like the, some carnivorous plants will do well, and the others will will not. Some tropicals, depending on of uh, where you live, like I said, will also do quite well too in a uh, bog garden like this, or if, uh, in a full, full on in the in the ground bog garden if you uh, set it up, which I would like to do at some point, but not right, but not at the moment. And so if you, if you have any future questions, comments, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.